We are live from the Gospel of God's Grace Ministries in Kobong, Botswana. Bringing hope to the hopeless. Get ready for these spirit lifting testimonies. Connect by faith and tap into the same grace. The grace of God is sufficient. Coming up next, testimony time. Good morning, people of God. The grace of God is sufficient for us all. Amen. Uh, my name is Beauty Isaac. Uh, I stay in Lobazi. I'm married in Moshupa, and I come from Tutume. Uh, with me here is Oshia Isaac, is the one that I'm going to testify about. I'm just this mouthpiece for now. Praise the Lord. Amen. So I'll share with you a testimony about healing. So uh, about uh, Oshia Isaac, uh, since he was born, like he's three or six months now. Uh, he was uh, suffering from uh, nasal congestion. So to us, we didn't know whether there was any other adverse or the seriousness of the situation. At first, when he was about 20 days old, uh, after two weeks of being discharged from the hospital after birth, uh, he started on the way they started giving medication on nasal decongestant. He was always in and out of the hospital almost every month. So we be the the, the, the nose would be running. The, the the he wouldn't breathe properly. And then we went to the hospital uh, to the government hospitals. Uh, still, they would just give him antibiotics and some painkillers and uh, some sprays for to decongest the nose. Uh, when we went to another um, uh, a private hospital where the, the doctor diagnosed, diagnosed that um, he had rhinitis. Uh, rhinitis is like a, a sinus. Uh, somebody, if there's irritation on the nasal passage that causes somebody to always have mucus or to always have um, a, a, a runny nose. So the thing continued uh, year and year in. So uh, when we asked the cause of the, uh, the, the problem or the condition, the doctor told us that it was an allergy, uh, which he did not know uh, the cause of the allergy, maybe something in the atmosphere. So when something is like that, uh, there's no much hope whether there will be healing or not unless uh, God intervenes. So we're just uh, trusting God uh, because at first we, uh, I didn't know if it was a, a problem that would be chronic or that would take so much time. So uh, year, the first year passed, the second year passed, and uh, on the third year uh, the, the, the problem became uh, worse uh, around September uh, 2015, uh, the boy uh, now started bleeding through the nose, just even, even when you don't, uh, it's not hit by anyone. So we know that people who have nose bleeds, maybe when they hit something or they're hit, that's when the nose uh, bleeds. But that time, he was just uh, bleeding through the nose. Uh, about the mucus uh, a problem, uh, we're used to, to that. We thought uh, we just grow like that uh, with the mucus every time. It's in kindergarten. So at school, they always say we should buy wet wipes and, and tissue uh, because he was always uh, having mucus. And it was really embarrassing even to me as the mother because it's as if you don't uh, care of, for the child. For him also, you know, obviously we have some stigma because some other children also we wouldn't like to be playing with the child with the, uh, 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 with the mucus. So uh, when, uh, finally we went to another private doctor. Uh, the, the, from, we, we, we left the previous one who diagnosed him with a, a rhinitis. And then the, that other doctor referred to us to, uh, for an X-ray. And um, I'll show the, the results. Yes, you are welcome to approach the board. Uh, the X-ray for the first, uh, when we went around October, uh, this was the X-ray. Uh, I may not be able to read the X-ray, but at least there is a, a prognosis or a report about the X-ray. Um, they said there is a soft tissue mass seen in the post-nasal uh, space, suggestive of enlarged adenoids. And then uh, the doctor, after analyzing the X-ray, that's what he said that there were enlarged adenoids, and he had now chronic. The disease has progressed from just rhinitis to now chronic. That is like it will never heal. It will, it will just be a problem that will continue like that, and also a broke. Uh, 
uh, bronco spasm. And then he started him on medication. These are the medications that I had to mention here. Praise the Lord. And then he, he referred him to Bukamuso Hospital for a possible uh, further medication to a specialist of ENT. And then they, they said the only solution was uh, to operate the glands because the glands, uh, according to the doctors, they said um, they could close the, 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 the passage and then somebody can suffocate and there will be no air passing to, I mean, for breathing. And beside that, the... Um, the glands also, they affect the eyes. We could also see that the baby's eyes were beginning to brown. Uh, they were browning uh, before they were white, but they were starting to be brown. And then they also say the, uh, the problem could uh, affect the speech. So, and uh, honestly, the, the child could speak, yes, but so we now saw that it was a serious problem, but I still believe God, I trusted God, and uh, since I was in 3G from 2013, I've seen God heal, I've seen uh, God perform operations here, I've seen uh, many testimonies, or heard many testimonies of uh, people being healed from various problems, from various uh, uh, ailments. So I, I believed that uh, my own case will not be different. I People believe... Of God, uh, I want to believe that you are following very well the, the story of Mrs. Isaac. Uh, Mrs. Isaac, we want to understand that uh, how did you, did you took the, the advice of the doctor to, to take the child to operation? Uh... I took the advice, but with reservation. I didn't want to go to the operation, and I thank God because I didn't go. I Two weeks before the operation, he was scheduled for operation on the 16th of November, 2015. So I came here uh, one Saturday uh, with the hope of... Uh, 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 securing a space for prayer line. But I knew I was from, I mean, within Haboroni, it was not uh, really allowed. I was just uh, trusting God that uh, peradventure uh, I might find grace. But the first week, uh, I was not privileged. But I, I trusted God and believed that, anyway, if God doesn't touch him through the prayer line, we'll touch him through another way. But I still I really needed uh, I mean, a touch or maybe the of God to touch him. Somehow I believe that God through him will perform this miracle that the problem I couldn't handle by my own. Maybe to say I'll pray and maybe believe God. Uh, I needed, uh, I mean, a higher intervention of God. So I persisted, prayed through and believed and really persisted. The second um, uh, Saturday I came again and uh, I even called the prayer, the prayer line on phone and the, the pastor said they'll pray for the, for the child. And then I came again, this time believing God that God must see me through. Uh, I was really, I mean, I wanted to really push. So I was really in my heart. I'll go far. I'll just go through the channels till maybe I secure a uh, time for him to be prayed for. So that uh, second uh, Saturday was privileged. The usher uh, referred me to one of the pastors who, after looking at the uh, the results of the baby and the bookings for the operation allowed us uh, to come for the prayer line. And we joined the prayer line on the 15th of November. It was just a, a, a day before the operation on the 16th. Brought to you by Gospel of God's Grace Ministries. Healing. <laughs> Yes, a large glands that are blocking the airways and it's affecting the eyes that are turning brown. You said what's the problem? Yes, a large adenoids. They said there are some glands behind the, the nasal airways.
But as you have seen in the clip that uh, the boy was uh, ministered uh, with the living water uh, on his eyes and on his head. And uh, after some few minutes, or at least when the prayer line, you know, the boy started to like abitamato and he said, Mama Ntsa So to me, I couldn't see what he was saying. So uh, I was just wondering because I couldn't see what I was uh, going to remove. So people of God, after a week or so, uh, we saw, uh, I mean, uh, should I say a sign, because he was always having runny nose. So after a week, after the prayer, the runny nose just stopped. Uh, after what the eyes were indeed had been affected, and they were rush like that. But um, since then, from November after the prayer by the man of God, uh, those signs and daily thing, uh, the running nose, consistent running nose, bleeding, even though as a, as a hito agisepe, they just uh, stopped. And uh, the boy, uh, is an active boy, who just jump and run with the, with the other uh, siblings like that. And... Um, by February, it just happened that I went back to Bokamoso Hospital and um, uh, just to, to check if uh, the problem is still there. But I was believing God that, you know, the, the hand of the man of God, which I believe is the hand of God uh, through him, had touched this boy and performed an operation. So uh, the doctor, at, at first he was not happy that we didn't honor the, the operation date. So I told him that, you know, I was seeking a spiritual solution. So I'm just here for you to help me check if the problem still persists. Praise the Lord. So he referred us to the uh, x-ray there and there. And um, those were the results. If I can approach the board. So on the 9th of uh, February, uh, we he went in for the X-ray. Uh, the uh, radiologist took the first X-ray, and he took another one again. And then uh, uh, we waited for for the results for the for the for the report. So when the report came, uh, these were the results that uh, there is no significant soft tissue swelling at the adenoid regions, normal post-nasal upper airway, a caliber is noted, normal perverted soft tissue with its is noted. Put your hands together, make a joyous celebration unto the Lord. Glorify Jesus with your hands. In the, the paper shows that the boy is now completely healed for the glory of God in Jesus' mighty name. Glorify Jesus once again with your hands. Praise the Lord. So I was really relieved when I got the, the results. You know, it's like I cried, but it was the, 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 the cry of joy. I was wondering, God, you could so do this. And uh, even though I knew God heals, but because he did it, I mean, in a case direct to me, you know, it was such a, a, a lifting a moment. And I was, you know, trusting God. And I said I should come and share with the people of God uh, for their encouragement and faith in Christ to grow. Praise the Lord. Mrs. Isaac, are you telling the church that the boy is completely here? No more abnormal mucus, no more building of the nose. Uh, are you telling the church that he's now completely free and healed? Yes, sir. Uh, the boy is normal and uh, everything is normal. And uh, of course, once in a while, anybody can get a cold if they expose themselves to uh, to, uh, to 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 cold because it happened uh, like in February during the rainy seasons and the problem did not persist like the runny nose for good. It just maybe a day and it was uh, normal. Let's put our hands together once again for Master Jesus. Madam, you have seen the fingerprint of God upon your life. You have seen the hand of God upon the life of your child. What can be your word of encouragement to the church? Uh, my word of encouragement will be that our God is great and really above all other gods, all, all other means. He's able to do all things. There's nothing impossible with him. Uh, just trust him and put your faith in him. And above all, put uh, trust also uh, uh, the man of God that he's used by God and his faculties, uh, God is in control uh, of them. Praise the Lord. 
Glory be to God. Glorify Jesus once again, people of God. We thank God for such a wonderful miracle in the life of your, your, your son. And we encourage you the same way that you have seen the hand of God through his servant, Prophet Cedric. God did his part through his servant. It's up to you now to maintain that blessing, that miracle that you have received. And the only way to maintain that blessing is to live according to the standard of God's way. God bless you. Brought to you by Gospel of God's Grace Ministries. Bringing a hope to the hopeless. We are live in Kopong, Botswana. The grace of God is sufficient for you.